talk to my camera for five minutes and wasn't on. So we're back here with this uh, this little motor I've been fooling around with for a while, doing all kinds of different weird stuff to it. It's a uh, basically a three phase motor, but it was a variable speed pump motor, a particular brand of swim spa. They didn't have a user interface on the, on the, on the VFD. The user interface was through the control on the swim spa. Those controls were obsolete and no longer made. So without that, there's no way to get into the drive interface board to turn on either PWM control or the discrete inputs. Um, and it was also a 24 volt drive interface, which you know, nothing's 24 volts in this industry anymore. Uh, so what I did was, did some different stuff. I had it connected to this Balboa for a while, but I got this little uh, Chinese inter inverter and I got an ESP32. I got a four relay board and I got it connected to an app that I made on uh, MIT App Inventor. So by Bluetooth, then you can see there's no wires connected to this tablet. I can operate the motor. And we got a stop button. I don't have full control like you would, um, like a machine spindle or something like that, but four speeds uh, could do a lot of stuff, a you know, grinder or sander or something like that. Um, I do have a signal amplifier board coming, so we might hook this thing up, write a, write a little program to uh, operate it with the pulse width modulation. Uh, which will give us full control of the uh, of the VFD from zero to two fifty five, but uh, the VFD runs at ten zero to ten, and the Arduinos and ESPs are zero to five. So I did have it hooked up. I did write a little code for an Arduino, and I had it hooked up like that, and it would only get to like uh, 30, 30 hertz or something, like half speed. So uh, got that coming. We might fiddle around with that, but that's where we're at for now. I might make a more detailed video later. Um, to show how all this stuff went together. But for now, that's where.